cups and muggies, but if we wish a great prayer, here are the haggis. <laughs> for you Hoyt folk, because the answer to the worst kept secret in Hoyt has just leaked out again. We is this year's Hoyt Cornet. It's top secret so I can't tell you, but the thing I will tell you is that when that June day draws nigh I'll be back as I have been every, every year for the last 35 years to the second best common riding in the cosmos. <laughs> In saying that, it's great to travel back through the tunnel to Hoyt Among the Hills to pay homage to Robert Burns. Robert Burns was born into a country that none of us would recognise. Scotland was a turbulent and violent place in them days, with no internet or Facebook, a country where the kirk ruled the roost and where he did as he were telt or else. So if you boys want to win over a lassie, you could do a lot worse than come up with lines like Oh, my love is like a red, red rose that's newly strung in June. Oh, my love is like a melody that's sweetly played in tune. For had we never loved so kindly, had we never loved so blindly, never met or never parted, we had ne'er been broken and hurted. How much better the lines are than the modern equivalent. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you, yeah, 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 yeah. For very little, if anything, has changed for the better since his time. The world is still riddled with poverty, injustice, war and hatred. For man's inhumanity to man still makes countless thousands mourn. And yet, there is not one bonny lassie or honest man the world o'er who could fail to be touched by his tenderness or fail to be inspired by his humanity. They say that making a speech is a bit like drilling for oil. If you haven't struck it in ten minutes, sit down and stop boring. <laughs> so I will. But before I do, can I ask you to stand up and raise your glasses and toast Scotland's bar, Robert Burns. Honoured guests, ladies, gentlemen, and fellow students, thank you for your kind invitation to speak at this year's Burns Supper. It is a great privilege. Pri privilege? <laughs> it is a great privilege to be here tonight to give the toast to the lassies. Fine means the opposite. Yes, that is quite clear. This is something I've realised over the years. We need to talk means just listen, my dear. <laughs> Yes, all you women give us men the fear. <laughs> the shopping, the makeup, the eyebrows on fleek. Contouring, highlighter, does it go on your cheek? <laughs> the shock as we watch your faces turn a different colour. And if it rains, then one eyebrow doesn't match with the other. <laughs> <laughs> now to our rabbi, you can finish the rest. Our most loved poet, you can say it best. Old nature swears the lovely dears. Her noblest work she classes. Her cretus hand she tried on man, and then she made the lasses. So la ladies, I want to say this was purely in fun, though after this speech I intend fully to run. Though different to us and baffling too, it's fair to say we'd be lost without you. So thank you to the dear lasses for all that you do, your input, your kindness, your endless, endless, endless conversation too. <laughs> Here's to our lasses, who does men raise a glass. <laughs>
<laughs> to the girls in this school who are pure class. To your lasses. <laughs> gentlemen and fellow students. A big thank you to Alex Jones for stepping in and delivering the toast to the lassies. He was right when he said burn supper speeches are somewhat of a legacy in Hoyt High School. In previous years they have left seniors trembling in fear, a tradition which I fully intend to keep this year. <laughs> Alex Jones is one person who's certainly not afraid to be heard, although hints and quietly is what I would have preferred. <laughs> <laughs> Even though this year has been my dream, Alex has been known to turn a little green. Despite managing to wangle yourself a speech, that PC manifesto is all you're ever going to preach. <laughs> I know I've poked fun for some cheap laughs tonight, but don't worry, my bark is really worse than my bite. Boys, you know the lassies love you all. You really have made this year of all. We sports proved us all that you are true athletes, even though your music taste is just jerky beats. <laughs> To the boys still here, you always make us smile, and we hope that you staying has been worth your while. But whether you're here or no, the six-year boys will be in our heart wherever we go. So from me and all the lasses, can we all raise our glasses to the lasses? <laughs> and the blast, the speedy gleams the darkness swallowed, loud, deep, and long the thunder belled. That night, a child might understand, the deal had business on his hand. Well mounted on his grey mare Meg, a better never lifted leg, Tom scalped on through dub and mire, despising wind and rain and fire, whilst hiding fast his get blue bonnet, whilst crooning our some old Scots sonnet, Whilst glower and ruin we prune fear, lest Google's catch him unaware. Ker Galloway was drawn nigh, where geese and bullets nightly come. A seven-drop sun, for Jamie Drew's son. And now my great twin there, we met in the edge. It dragged the sweet hair to my faithful old dear. Dress and throw them. 